See ya. Uh, I am only joking. Gotta laugh in these times. Hey, 23 days in lockdown, baby. I haven't moved since I saw you guys last. It's been hanging out, me sloppy joe, being all comfortable and just having a little froth. But as promised, I'm gonna show you guys what I pack every time I go for a motor vlog. Every time. Maybe not every time. Depends on the motor vlog, I guess. But this is just for mainly, you know, just going out for a boom, just going out for a spritz one day, go out, have a little froth, come back home make a video, happy days. Also, if this is your first time on the channel and you're sort of wanting to suss out how to motor vlog and everything, you can get by without any of this gear. You can just rock the one GoPro, have a little mic set up in your helmet. I've got a video here to show how I do it. But for me, I like to share the cinematic essence of a video, I guess. I've only been doing this stuff for like a year, hey? Just mucking around with video, getting a drone out and just showing where it is that you are riding for that day or for that, you know, that week. What roads, where are you? Like what the hell's going on? Boom, massive establishing shot, looking over the desert or looking over the forest or wherever you are. So what I'm saying is, is don't let me deter you from trying this yourself, from having a little moto vlog because it is fun and you can just get away. So many moto vloggers do it, just one camera, they're really good at it. I just prefer more gear, more cameras, which is a pain in my butt. I hate myself for it, but it's just fun and I like creating stuff for you guys, so. Here we are. And if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Did I do that? I think I did that. I meant that. Please, please like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so first thing would have to be the backpack. The backpack I use is this guy. This is the Bauble Bee backpack. These guys sent me out one last year, the end of last year for that massive trip that I did. And holy moly, this thing's cool, hey. This thing's really cool. It's it's rock hard, it's fully armored. Like it's actually got a CE armor rating to protect your back for when you come off. But I mean like, you're carrying gear with you, man. You wanna protect your gear just in case you do come off. And this is pretty much like the best sort of camera bag style backpack that you can have while riding a motorbike. I was always a bit worried with rocking this guy because so this is the Peak Design uh, Everyday Backpack V2 and I love it, I love it so much, but <laughs> if you come off, man, that's uh, that's all your gear gone. At least that has some protection, which is sick. And I really love these ball pack packs. I'll show you why. Also, this is not a sponsored ad by anybody. This is just me sharing my expertise in the field, okay? All right, where to start? So first, these guys have so many accessories for their bags. You can have, so I've got this little guy on here. I'll show you what I use this for. It's not for my beers. <laughs> Although it could be because it's all insulated and it's so sick. So many customization options. You can have like a cargo net on there. You can have this thing on there. They got like these sidewinder massive things off the side where you can just load up even more stuff. On the inside, well, I've got this. That's my camera pouch, we'll get into that. On the inside, full of pockets and sleeves and just everything. So you can put your laptop in there. You can put so much stuff in. Even got this little thing here, put my glasses in there. Maybe put a knife in there, maybe put like a little Snickers bar. <laughs> Love Snickers, not sponsored. Sponsor me Snickers, that'd be sick. Yeah, snacks or whatever, it's got a full on sternum strap, it's awesome. It's so good, uh, rock hard like I said, fully, you know, ready to, for, the, for the road, to hit the road, figuratively speaking, and practically speaking. Um, and it feels very comfortable while riding as well. It's almost like got that nice little contour. These things down here, they don't hurt you at all. They don't, they don't dig into your back or anything. Very comfortable bag to ride while you're on a long trip. Now let's move on to the gear. So with the gear, I have minimized everything. Straight down because holy crap, you don't want to be carrying this, like this lens here is three and a half grand. It's a 16 to 35, 2.8, the, the Mark III version. Three and a half grand, man, and it weighs heaps. The camera I'm using is the 6D Mark II. I used to rock my 5D Mark IV and that's like a, you know, five grand camera and all that. So, you know, as I'm saying, it is, uh, it's crucial that you have a good bag to protect all your gear if you're going to be rocking this sort of stuff. For this reason, the weight reason, um, I bought myself the little M50. The M50 is sick. It's tiny, super light, not that expensive, like 900 bucks or something retail with a kit lens. I bought this other lens, this is the pancake lens. I use this for doing all my B-roll stuff. I got me a little variable ND. See that all just going down. Oh, look at that. Wonk. Look. A very sick, it's got a stepper ring so I can use them for both my lenses. And this is, this is so light, it's so small, so good. It does everything I need. Um, it can take some decent photos, not like crazy. 
don't have too much control over it, but it's cool. The M50, I like it. It's a good vlogging camera. Now, obviously I rock two GoPros. I have one on my helmet, Junk, and I use the helmet adapter. Again, it's in the video. So that doesn't even go in my backpack, which is awesome. Keeps it all nice and light. So that's the key to keep everything nice and light and fluffy. And then I have the other GoPro camera just pointing back at me so then you can see what I'm riding and stuff like that. And to mount that, I use this. So this saves me having to pack all the little GoPro mounts and everything. It's called a magic arm. This one's, uh, which one is this one? Small rig. You can do anything with it. You can mount it any way. So you've got a little bracket clamp here. Clamp that onto like a bracket, any pole on your bike or whatever. Move this thing around however you want, like this. You want that pointing back up like that and have it all contorted like this. Lock it up. And it's rock hard, man. It's not going anywhere. That's all you need. They're pretty weighty though. I've got two of them just in case I want to rock a couple of GoPros. If you don't want to carry anything in your backpack, you just mount this thing straight up to your bike before you head out and um, you're going to be saving on weight in your backpack. <sighs> yeah, this thing's cool. This thing's actually the best. It's getting pretty haggard because I use it a lot. I scraped on the... That was when I went a little bit too low on the old lean and scraped a little bit. But they're robust, man. It's all metal. It's all good. It's all good, baby. To keep my GoPros charged, I use my dual battery GoPro, um, you know, charging battery pack thing. Heaps light, heaps small. For this, I have all my cables in a little pouch. Keep the cables that you need. iPhone, micro USB, USB-C, all the things that you need to keep all your stuff charged. Of course, I found like a mad lightweight. Look how, look how thin this is. This is a cool little battery pack. Um, I can probably charge both GoPro batteries three times and the batteries last about an hour, like recording, so it's plenty. And then while you're riding, switch them out, charge in your backpack, and then when your batteries run out, do the old switcheroo. Boom, you're back in business, baby. Hey, we're getting through this, actually. We're getting through this, okay. I thought uh, we're gonna struggle, but we're not, we're doing good. Also, you guys know that I use ND filters. Boom, there's another video there for you on why the hell I use ND filters. What do they do? They're pretty sick. All my different grades, there's like ND4 to 32. Uh, these are the free wall ones, I like them. They're pretty cheap, they're pretty you know, cost effective, and they work really well. They're robust. I cracked one, and I had that one for like a year and a half or something, so. They're pretty good, they're pretty good. By the way, I'll link all the stuff that I'm talking about now in the description below. I'll try to link them to Amazon. If you can buy from the Amazon store, that'd be amazing because that means I get a little cut and it helps me just, you know, support the channel and grow, grow the channel for you guys and for me because, you know, I love making films and videos and I love riding motorbikes. I'll try to, you know, find the most accurate item I can so that you can literally just go down there, click, that's the one he's got, boom. You're happy, I'm happy, everybody's happy. Okay, so we spoke about GoPro, we've done the batteries, all this stuff. So yeah, so with the, even with the GoPros, they're not even in my, in my bag. I just mounted up straight away to my helmet. You've seen me rock it around. Big old chunky boy. I feel like Tony Stark when I've got my comms unit, my, my Cardo, with GoPro, got wires and all that everywhere. Got two microphones in the helmet, it's ridiculous. I love it, it's so good. It's all weight reduction. You wanna keep your bag as light as possible. Or if you have saddlebags and everything like that, Go crazy, man. Bring a massive drone with you. Bring a huge drone. I just like to keep my bike nice and, you know, nice and clean, nice and doit. With uh, no bags or anything on there, I just like to carry my backpack just so the bike looks sick still all while I've got all my gear on me and all that. And I really like my packing situation, which by the way, I'll show you guys at the end of the vid. All this fits in my bag so nicely. I'm like, I'm so happy with it. I'm so chuffed. It's something that I'm very, very impressed about. Like how the heck do you carry all your drone, your cameras, your microphones and everything all in just, in this? I'll show you how, I'll show you. I take a pocket knife just in case I need to make some adjustments, little screwdriver, it's got, you know, all your pocket knife stuff. This one's actually from Switzerland when I was there playing the Montreal Jazz Festival. It's pretty damn sick. I rock the Joby 3K. I've got the 5K on this setup right now. This is the Joby 3K. This is perfect for the, the M50. Chuck it on, vunk, and then boom. You know, obviously you don't hold it like that. But yeah, perfect, perfect size. Throw it around, happy days. Oh, there we go, let's come up now. Uh, JB's really good as well, so then if I want to ride down a road, I might just run off my bike, mount this up, wrap this around a tree branch or something, just hook it up, just uh, get it around there, and then go for a ride, and then come back, and then pick this up, and take it to another tree or another pole or whatever, wrap it around there, sit on the ground, do whatever you want. JB tripods are awesome, and I highly rate them. Very light as well, 
which is good. My spare memory cards, I just take 164 gig. I'll just leave that in my bag literally all the time, just this 164 gig. And I've got a spare 32 gig micro SD, which I've, I've never had to use either. Hey, it's just like the, the camera records at 1080p or 720 when you're doing 120 frames a second. It just doesn't take up 64 gigs, man. If you're doing 64 gigs in one day and then you get all your GoPro footage, which is 4K, I got 128 gigabyte cards each in those um, and my drone as well. So it's just, you got an abundance of memory storage. Um, I've never had to go to these. But for me, I just have them there just in case a memory card stuffs up and I need to switch it out. Boom, got one. Boom, got one for the, you know, all the action cams and stuff. So it's good to have spares. Speaking of spares, spare batteries as well. They're not the greatest for the M50, but these wasabi power ones, these things are great, man. These actually hold more charge than the, the genuine ones, which is crazy. They charge faster and I like them. I really, really like them. So I've got four, I think I've got four of these batteries and then plus the one that um, came with the camera. So I've got five and I just take two with me. I could probably burn through one battery on a vlog and then you just got one spare charged up, ready to rock and roll. Okay, now my drone. This is my drone. This is the Mavic Mini. This thing is cool. So I bought this for the trip when I went, when we did the Around the Backyard tour. Um, and then the Mavic Mini 2 literally just came out as well on the trip, I think. But I had to get one because I needed that. I needed the aerial view from like where we were because I knew it was going to be spectacular. And I definitely do not regret buying this. This is the one of the best purchases I made, I reckon, for the trip. Very small, 249 grams, man, with a battery inside. 249 grams, are you serious? You don't need to license these things. Just buy it, flick it straight up, obey the laws, the air space laws and stuff. Even the remote control is nice and small. It's not one of the big ones. And that's probably like the only downside with the Mavic Mini 2 is that the controller is huge. The controller is enormous. It's bigger than the drone. So this is mad. It flicks out, stick your phone there. Aerials, boop. Uh, I did buy the Fly More kit. So with the Fly More kit, you get this. Put your drone here, put your controller here. And then you have this, which is really, really handy. But for me, for like a one day fly or a one day vlog, I don't need to take all three batteries, you know? It does it just weigh, it's a weigh stuff. But you can use these packs as an actual battery pack. So if your actual battery pack runs out of power and you have like one battery in here, you can just stick a USB cable into the USB slot and then charge your phone or whatever, just in case you get stuck. That's such a cool idea. But I don't take this with me just to save on weight. I have one in the drone and then I just take one spare. That's plenty. That lasts like half an hour anyway, per battery um, with like the best conditions, no wind or anything like that. The mic I use, so sometimes I like to go for a rip and I like to record the audio really as like as nice as I can. I want, I want everyone to experience the sound that a bike makes, especially like, like I love my Zards. And I want to try to capture that even when I did the 2021 Speed Triple RS V. This is what I use. I use the Zoom, I think it's a H4. The Zoom H5. Uh, this thing's cool. I've got like this little, you know, what do they call it? The little gremlin things. This is what comes with it. This big, this big boy. And I find that this works better than this. And there, these are only like 15 bucks. Dial it in, press all your settings, hit record. This just goes funk into here like that. Boom. And I do put, so I've got like a beanie and I've, I've got a buff in here as well. You know, just in case of emergency, it heaps cold. But this stuff does make noise. You get some ASMR in here. It makes that noise and it picks up very well on this. So I try to just muffle it up and it actually works. I'll just chuck some clothes in there, a little bit of fluff, fluff it up. Boop. There he goes and he's home. And then zip it up. Boom, chuck it on your back, have a mad rip. Also, the other mic I use for my camera is the one I'm using here. This is the Rode Video, Video Mic Pro Plus. I don't know, which one, there's so, there's so many. It's the good one. It's the it's the one that turns off and on automatically when you turn your camera on and off. Um, where's my phone? Bonk. That's the one right there. Um, so you see around the back, you turn the camera off, which I won't do, then that all just turn off. It has that plus 20 and minus 10 there as well. So then if you are filming a motorbike and it has a loud exhaust and you're there just talking, having a good time, ha ha ha, someone revs that up, it's just gonna kill your audio. It's gonna distort, it's gonna peak, it's gonna be horrible. So you just smash that button and it'll give you minus 10 dB 
like that and it's all nice and cut just don't forget to put it back up otherwise it's going to be very very low when you're talking it's going to be like and then inside my helmet i use the purple panda microphone which is in that video that i linked up here before so go and check that out after this i'll even put it at the end of the video for your ease oh man we are getting a little bit hot here hey that sun is coming out baby let me fix this Definitely, definitely, definitely take some sort of snack with you, like a protein bar or a granola bar or whatever, because uh, it sucks when you're out there and you're in the zone, you're in the thing and you're just filming, having a good time, and then all of a sudden the hunger pains kick in, you're like, crap, I don't have anything to eat. Just have this, something like this on you all the time. They last for ages, so you can just leave it in your bag and then when you're, you know, when you're desperate, you just smash that thing down and that'll get you through at least an hour, you know what I mean? So that you can just... Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. So you can ride back safely without getting all the fuzzies and everything and then pull into your servo, get a nice pie or something like that. I highly recommend having a little snacky boy on you. Okay, so we're coming down to the end. So this is pretty much everything. I have, however, I've had uh, Insta360 reach out and they sent me one of their X2 cameras. Now I've been in lockdown since they gave this to me, so I haven't had a chance to really take it for a mad rip. But in saying that, that footage that you saw last week of me just having a little rip around the car park, that was entirely filmed on this, apart from right at the end when I was just like, oh, you check out the mirror, that's obviously the GoPro. Wow, what a camera. This, like, it's exciting. I'm actually really excited to use this. I love the whole idea of just like, you can just put it anywhere and it's filming the bubble around it all the time. All the time. Then you can just choose if you want it 16 by 9, 9 by 16, or whatever, like anytime, all in post. The app's really good as well. I'm actually super excited to do a review on this and how we can get some mad bike camera angles as well. Full on third person, GTA styles. Sick. Really, really happy with that. So thanks Insta360 for sending that out to me. Uh, I'm gonna link it as well. They're so sick. I'm actually so excited to use this. And then everything I put it all in. This is the thing I put it all in. <laughs> Pretty much everything anyway. So this is the .65, just like the Ball V backpack. It's literally the same brand. You can buy one of these when you buy the backpack. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's soft, it's fluffy. It's gonna take care of all your stuff. I think that's it. I think that's all I got to show you. How was that? That's what I pack in my camera bag for moto vlogging 2021, baby. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, and I take like, I take some medical stuff as well. So like Panadol and uh, Band-Aids just in case, you know, little minimal first aid kit, just the things that you need. Might have a lighter as well. And yeah, that's, that's what I use. Any questions? Drop me a comment. Is this way too much? Is this way too much stuff for you? Would you, would you take all this stuff? I'm actually interested to hear. But putting all that in the bag isn't actually that heavy. Once it's on your back and you're riding, it's so fine compared to like I used to take the 6D Mark II and like I said the 35mm lens and all that and it was heavy man. It was so heavy I had to change it because it was just horrible. This setup I'm really happy with. Alright and uh, as promised I'm going to show you guys how I pack all this down into my bag and then we'll just let the credits roll out. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If you did please consider hitting the subscribe button and um, hitting the like button as well. It's all good, it's all good for the algorithm. Helps me, helps the channel, helps everybody. The more you can give me, the more I can give back to you. I guess I'll be chilling here for another two weeks. Two week lockdown extended. This is day 23, we've got another two weeks, another 14 days, pretty gnarly. It's got gnarly, it's actually got heat gnarly. But I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm actually fine. I'm, I'm playing on like it's massive, a massive deal, but people are way worse off than me. I'm actually doing oh so good. Just having a mad froth, got good company. I'm in a beautiful place, beautiful apartment. Got food in my belly, roof over my head, bed to sleep in. I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. But thank you for your concern. I appreciate it. Okay, ride safe. Peace.